need to go get a drink. Two days later. Uh. Finally. Yeah, three tries. So welcome to part two of my video series doing Tommy Lauren. This time she's not bashing liberal celebrities for how they feel about politics during the Super Bowl. No, no. This time she's bashing liberals and some Republicans for how they feel about Donald Trump's education secretary, Betsy DeVos. <sighs> this isn't going to be pretty, is it? God, I hate that intro. It's time for final thoughts. Of course, the Democrats and a couple of special interest Republicans held an overnight talkathon to prevent President Trump's education secretary pick, Betsy DeVos, from confirmation. Talking and doing nothing is what they are best at. But again, despite their best efforts, they failed. Again, another loss for the Democrats. Uh, yeah, Tommy, didn't those complaining liberal Democrat protesters who are also special snowflakes just help to get uh, Donald Trump's temporary ban of Muslims from those seven countries overturned by the courts? Yeah, losing my dear Aunt Sally. But a win not just for President Trump and Republicans, a win for poor kids in poor neighborhoods with craptastic schools. How do you know that? See, Secretary DeVos is an advocate for school choice. And if you're a parent who gives a crap about your children's education, that should make you very, very happy. Okay, Tommy. Please show me your credentials. Please show me your education credential. Please show me that you've spent time at schools in front of kids educating them. Show me all the research that you've done to back up that claim that all people should want school choice. I don't care what color you are or what you think of President Trump. This move is good for you, good for parents and students, and bad for the teachers' unions. Oh yeah, because the teachers' union is bad, bad, bad. Everything against that is good, good, good. Don't be fooled. Yeah, that's what the Democrats won't tell you. Follow the money. Teachers unions gave over $32 million to Democrats this last election cycle. Yeah, well, Betsy DeVos has been giving money to Republicans for decades. Don't see you talking about that. Follow the money, follow the money, follow the money. And that is why Democrats refuse to support school choice. No, 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 Tommy. Because school choice does not support teachers in the least bit. Teachers get blamed for everything in school choice. Of course! Teachers unions want to help teachers! It's mind-boggling, I know. Once again, making it abundantly clear they will do anything, absolutely anything, to keep a stranglehold on the little bit of political power they have left by any means necessary. How's about this idea, Tommy? How about we don't put Betsy DeVos in the power of being the education secretary? Because she has zero experience! Hello? Even preventing poor kids from a better education. Again, please cite your sources. See, for over 50 years, Democrats and a few Republicans, yes, I am talking to you, Senator Murkowski, and you, Senator Collins, we won't forget your betrayal and your vote against Secretary DeVos and your principles and school choice. How did they betray anybody? They decided to grow some sack for once in their lives and go against somebody who doesn't even know what she's talking about. This woman was on C-SPAN and almost every uh, senator with, with any sense was grilling her for minutes and minutes on end, showing everybody that she had no idea what she's talking about. Right now, I'm going to show a compilation of, of how terrible of an education secretary she looked like. The Secretary of Education is essentially responsible for managing a trillion dollar student loan bank and distributing $30 billion in Pell Grants to students each year. The financial futures of an entire generation of young people depend on your department.
surprises me that you don't know this issue. And Mr. Chairman, I think this is a good reason for us to have more questions. You and your leftist pals have supported a fundamentally broken education system. A system that keeps poor kids in a cycle of poverty and out of decent education. Yes, yeah, sorry, Tommy. Uh, that's what school choice does, too. All to prop up teachers' unions. Sick. Yeah, I know you Democrats are all about choice. You march and parade down the streets chanting it, my body, my choice. What about your education, your choice? What about school choice? Well, there Tommy goes again, just pulling up random comparisons that don't have anything to do with each other. Good job, you get a cookie, Tommy. You fight tooth and nail for your right to abort a fetus, but not for a parent or child's right for a decent education? Let's just say Tommy rapes my ears too much and a baby grows in my brain. Am I allowed to abort her then? Telling of your movement, really. See, despite what the power-hungry Democrats will have you believe, the best way to address systemic poverty isn't the almighty government handout. No, it's a better education. Tommy, something tells me you wouldn't know a better education if it slapped you in the face with a book. And no, that does not mean pumping billions more into a failing system. That isn't going to do jack. The system needs a shakeup, big time. It's time to change the way teachers are evaluated. No more passes. I think that Tommy just believes that just by merely standing in front of students, you're going to get a positive result out of them. I mean, that might work in higher achieving schools, but in lower achieving schools, that's not how it works. I'd like to see Tommy stand in front of a bunch of these kids and just get spitballs thrown at her because that's exactly what would happen. Tommy, you have no idea how the education system works. You don't even know how to improve it. Which is the funny thing, you're just standing here projecting these random opinions that you just come up with without any evidence or without any research to back it up. You have no idea what you're talking about. The teachers union is the only thing keeping teachers from getting paid as much as, as the school district or the school board wants them to get paid. Not to mention, the school district could just tell the teachers they have to stay till 5 every day. It's time to give families a choice, a role in their children's future. Charter schools and vouchers are the enemy of the teachers union, but not students. I hope you know that charter schools are about as vile as you think that, that teachers unions are. You do know that charter schools only allow a certain amount of students in due to a lottery. You do know that for the most part, charter schools do not perform as well as magnet schools or, or regular public schools, you do know that charter schools could just say, oh, I don't know what to do with this student who has behavioral issues. We'll just ship them off to another school. And finally, charter schools are schools that don't allow everybody into the public in, but still use public money. This American education experiment is a joke. You know what, Tommy? I disagree. The biggest joke is the fact that you will do just about anything to protect the things that Daddy Donald has done so far for this country. Okay, I can understand you want the wall to be built because you think the borders... I can, I can understand you don't want refugees into this country, especially the Muslim ones, because you think there's going to be terrorist attacks. But this woman has zero knowledge of what she's doing. You're basically putting a square peg into a round hole, okay? It, it, it's, com it's a complete travesty, that's what it is. A joke taxpayers have spent trillions to fund, but all it's done is leave tens of millions hopeless and our inner cities in shambles. To borrow a line from Turning Point USA, a zip code should not decide a child's future. And in fact, we should all be doing everything we can to make sure those born in the worst areas have the same access to a high quality education as rich students. If charter schools didn't work, there wouldn't be lines of students and families begging to be placed in them instead of the local failing schools run by the almighty teachers union. Tommy, it's common knowledge that charter schools don't perform as well as public schools. The fact that you didn't do your research on that is actually, I, I kind of expected you not to do your research on that. When will this 24-hour political theater end? Standing up there pretending you care about education? <laughs> the irony. While sending your own kids to a private school. Yes, Dick Durbin, I am talking to you. You lecture America on education and against Secretary DeVos and school choice because your kids don't have to worry about it. That's really something. 
Yeah, Tommy, he probably knows more about the education system than you do. But it ends now. Welcome to the game, Secretary DeVos. Let's make education great again. <laughs> Not likely, Tommy. Not likely. Those are my final thoughts. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tommy Laren from Dallas. God bless and take care. Okay, Tommy, I'll keep that in mind the next time I want to listen to somebody blurt on for five minutes about something that they have zero experience in. Much like our education secretary, which you promoted and did a very, very horrible job doing so. But again, what more can I expect from somebody who said that children, students, and parents should choose what they want to learn about? Okay, that, that, that's all. That's all. That's all I needed to hear from the, the, the crazy kook over there at the blaze, okay?